it's Aaron, and we'll be going through the solution for the JP Holtz lock. This puzzle is a level 8 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. The main goal of this puzzle is to open the JP Holtz lock. So just to start off with, uh, there's not really any distinguishable difference between the JP Holtz and the bronze other than a acrylic plate showing you what's going on internally. And they've, they've done a little bit of decorative stuff, but this is more or less the blind version of the JP Holtz lock. So the internal anatomy is we have four pins attached to these stair pieces and they all kind of butt into each other. This one has a piece that goes further and holds our lock in place. So ultimately we want to pull this pin all the way back. Stopping us is a couple of ball bearings. So more or less during this whole time I'm going to be holding one of the ball bearings with this groove, this pin, and then I will be slanting it down so that the other two ball bearings are off the way of this pin. And then it's just a matter of going around and about trying to make slack. I think this puzzle is my number one pick for stickiest puzzle. It's a very neat design, but I find it kind of jams on itself a lot, and that's probably by design. It makes you second guess what you're doing, and ultimately is good. So I'm just going to jiggle these pieces until I find the missing slack. I'm just going to make sure I got that ball bearing in place. So by pulling this one down it should make slack for this staircase to move in a little bit and then this one to move up, this one to move over a little. And we continue to just kind of shimmy it back and forth. I'm just going to see if I can't reset this a little. Okay. Okay. So pull that back. That over. And we have to continue to put pressure on this one just so the ball bearing doesn't slip back in and hold this in place. Granted that it hasn't already. I'm kind of paranoid that I'm not holding that sufficiently. Now mind you, this pin does nothing other than be a anchor for our big lock here, so we don't really have to do anything with it. Ah, there we go. And I'm just going to more or less be jiggling it a lot. Once again, I find this to be the stickiest puzzle I've ever touched. And I mean, other people's mileage might vary. Maybe other people find this to be a really quick and easy one. Ah, 
Ah, there we go, finally. <laughs> this one finally moved where I wanted it to. So we'll hold this one in place, it will fall down, and then we'll slide that over. And now we're pretty much just rocking. And of course, ever putting pressure on this ball bearing so it doesn't fall back in here and cause problems. There we go. <laughs> okay. So everything's all the way over, and we can open it. <laughs> and it kind of opens in this weird sideways pattern. It's cool. So to close it back up, it's more or less the same thing, but in reverse. Luckily, it goes a little bit easier this time as gravity's with us most of the way and kind of just wants to reset anyway. As it makes me a liar and I take forever to get it closed again. And of course it's important those two ball bearings as we go need to be in here. There are slots where they'll drop back down into And we're reset. That was JP Holtz. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.